Can you tell me what's brought you to England? That's why I'm here because I'm funded by Pestalozzi to study International Baccalaureate Diploma here at Sussex Coast College. So can you tell me a bit more about living in Pestalozzi village? Yeah, I know. I just love that place. I mean, it's diversified with people from almost six, seven countries. So we share, it is multicultural family, we can tell it. And then we share our culture, our background, and then we teach how we live in our part of the society our part of the world and then we learn from them a lot and we share whatever we have I mean problems and then we share our our happiness and then if any of us have festivals then we have tolerance among each other and then we participate in each other's things yeah. and tell me a bit more about the IB how you're finding that yeah IB is quite exciting you know my life was not so busy when I was in Nepal but it seems that it's too busy in UK and what, what things are you doing for your community and your activity and creativity? Yeah, as our unique activity is that I'm participating in one of the club called New Generation. And the main purpose of this club is to, con- to raise awareness about the harmful effects of HIV and AIDS in the developing nations like Nepal, or Uganda, Zimbabwe, Zambia, India. So we have started this club in Pestalozzi. And have you got an ultimate aim? Actually, I want to, I want to be... A um, I mean, I want to engage myself in medical field, but but in addition to that, uh, I want to be the prime minister of my country. <laughs> I mean, basically, I'm raised by my country itself, so I love my country. And then if my country is giving me so much, I should also have the I also have the responsibility to contribute from my part to the country, because to gain something, we need to compromise something. You found things here that you can also love. Have you found? A connection with something here, yeah. the landscape or the people? Yeah, it is quite similar. I mean, in, in, the, in not in northern part, not in southern part, but in middle part of the country, we have something that is found here also. I mean, the, the climate is quite similar. You know, we have cold climate like this in our country as well. And then we have hills. But actually, the hills are quite taller in our country than the hills here. <laughs> but the only thing is we don't have sea. We are landlocked. Oh. And they have sea, yeah. <laughs> and what, what did you make of the sea? Yeah, sea. <laughs> sea, sea is just, you know, I mean, I've never seen, I had never seen sea or experience. I just imagined it would be like this, but I've never felt it will be like this. And I, I saw the first time I came here and saw the English Channel, and I thought as if seas are like this. Seas are just going up and down and wave and this and that. It was quite exciting. Have you been in? Have you paddled? No, or? no, no, no. I've never been in. But I will, I will, if I get... Yes, <laughs> when it's a bit warmer, maybe. Yeah, when it's, it's warmer and when I think I have that enough courage to go inside, I'll go. <laughs> Sounds fantastic. Mm. Is there anything else you want to say on the recording? Yeah. So the only thing that I want to say in the recording is uh, I request anyone who is listening to my interview to please, please, please visit Nepal if possible because it's, it's just that... You will love when you visit Nepal and you should try to explore the places in the world that are too beautiful and for those places that want you to visit it, that want you to look at its beauty, admire its beauty and feel it. So I request, I request you to visit Nepal if possible.